Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. This video is part of our Scratch for Beginners series and you will learn some simple ways to move your character around the screen. For today's activity, we're going to use a character of a cat. In Scratch, they call the characters sprites. So our sprite we're going to use is the cat. You will see him sitting over here on the area on the right hand side. This area is known as the stage. This is where we can watch the games or the stories that we have created and see them on the stage. Okay, so let's make this cat move. To start with, we need to understand the different commands we have available to us. And you see on the left hand side, there's a whole heap of little dots here that have different, different things. What we need to start with is we need an event. We need to do something to start our game or our activity. One of the ones we often use is this one that's up here called when the green flag is clicked. So let's use that one today. So what we do is we click on that, we drag it across into this section in the middle and this is where our code is going to sit. The green flag is this little green flag that you'll see up the top above our stage. And what this command says is every time the green flag is clicked, start the game or the activity that we are going to put the code in for now. Okay, so we need to make the cat move. Now moving can be found under motion. So you'll see up here the blue little blue dot called motion. We click on that and we get a whole list of different things of ways we can make our cat move. Let's start with a nice simple one. There's one down here called go to random position. So let's grab that, drag it across and you'll see once it gets over here, you'll see that little gray shading come in and that will mean that when I let go of my mouse, it's going to click into position because you'll see that the different blocks click together beautifully. So this, my code now says when the green flag is clicked, go to a random position. And so my cat will go to a random position on the screen that the computer decides. Shall we have a look? Let's go over, collect the green flag and you'll see my, my cat moves. If I want him to move again, I need to click the green flag and he'll move again. Click again, he'll move again. Excellent, he's doing exactly what we want him to do. But if we want the, to, the game to keep going without having to keep hitting the green flag each time, we can put in a command to tell it to keep going. Now, that command can be found under control. So we go over onto the left hand side and you hit control. And you'll see one here called forever. This is one you'll use quite a lot in a lot of your games and activities that you make in Scratch. So you want to get used to this one. So forever, we pull that over and you actually put it wrapped around the go to random position. Now what our code is saying is when the green flag is clicked, go to a random position. And then because of this forever loop we've got, it'll go to a random position again. And then go to a random position and then go to a random position. And he'll keep doing that over and over until we stop our game. And the way to stop our game is by hitting this little red stop button up that's next to the green flag. So we start our game and we stop our game. And in the middle, he'll keep doing whatever we've told him to do, which is go to a random position, and he'll keep doing that over and over again. So let's have a look at what he does now. Click the green flag, and he's going to random positions very, very, very quickly. Okay, let's stop him. Okay, so what we want to do, we need to slow him down a bit because that's a bit crazy. So let's bring in another command here that keeps him a bit slower. You'll see this one over here on our left hand side it says wait one second. If we bring that over and I'm going to put that just underneath go to random position. What our code now says is when the green flag is clicked, go to a random position. 
wait one second, then loop back around, go to a random position, wait one second, go to a random position, wait one second. And he will keep doing that until I hit the stop button because of that forever loop. Shall we have another look? See what it looks like now. I click the green flag and he goes to a random position. Waits a second and goes to another one. Waits a second, goes to another one. And he will keep doing that where he's just moving to all different parts of the screen until I hit the stop button up here, which I'll do now. Okay, that's great. We've got our cat moving around the screen and we've get it, got it working well. Let's have another go at doing something slightly different now though because instead of him moving to random positions where the computer decides where he goes, how about we control where he goes? So what we can do is we can change, instead of it saying go to random position, you see how there's this little arrow on the right hand side. If we pull that down, it means there's other options there. So we can, this one is you either can go to a random position or you can go to the mouse pointer. So now let's do that. If we click go to the mouse pointer, what our code now says is when the green flag is clicked, go to the mouse pointer, wait a second, and then go to the mouse pointer again. That means that when I move my mouse around on the screen, when the game is going, the cat will move to the wherever I put the mouse pointer. So I am going to be controlling where he goes. Shall we have a look at that? Let's do it. Let's hit the green flag and you'll notice I move my mouse and the cat follows the pointer. Wherever my arrow goes is where the cat is going. So I am now controlling where my cat goes on the screen. Now, I just want to show you one more other way we can move our cat around. Let's, I'm just going to have a look at our game again and watch the way the cat moves when he's moving to the mouse pointer. You'll see he's actually just appearing in the next spot. So you're not actually seeing him move, you're just seeing him appear in the next spot. A bit like teleporting really. So let's just stop that. Now, there is a command that we can use that allows him to glide and that way we'll see him actually moving. So let's try do that, doing that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the go to out of our code, pop it over here. I will move the weight away and I'll pick up the glide and pop it in there instead. And again, we've got a choice of random position or mouse pointer. Now when you need him using the glide, you don't actually need the wait one second command. So we'll take the two we don't need, can go back over there. So now our code says when the green flag is clicked, glide to our mouse pointer and then glide to our mouse pointer, glide to our mouse pointer. So shall we have a go? So you'll see now, you can actually see him moving. He's gliding to wherever my mouse pointer is. This is a command that you will use a lot if you're making games. This is the sort of one you'll use if you're doing a game where you're having to chase something or collect things or you're wanting to move around the screen with your character. So it's a good, this is a really good one to know. Okay, that's it for this video. So what I want you to do now is go over to Scratch and have a go at doing the things we've done today. Have a go at doing a go-to random position, a go-to mouse pointer, and then try a glide mouse pointer and see how you go. Then when you're done, when you're comfortable with that, come back over to Splotch Code and we'll have a look at some other videos to show you different ways you can move and other fun things you can do with your characters. Thanks so much for watching Splotch Code. We'll see you next time.